Shawnee, wake up, my sweet boy. Shauna, I have something really special I want to show you, but we have to get going or we're going to miss it, okay? Mom. Let's go. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Where do you think you're going? Going on an adventure. Oh, you never take me on any of your adventures. Can I go, please? Sorry, Stink. No. Well, why? Simple. You smell. You are so mean. Hey! Hey, geek face! You know, I was actually thinking to myself how excited I was to see you this morning. Really? Then I puked in my mouth, and uh, the thought eventually subsided. Subsided? It's a big word for you, buddy. You like that? That's just for you. Now get your gear in the rear, and let's get the show on the road. All right. Son. Hey, thanks for getting the supplies. Hey, no problem, bro. There's actually this uh, really hot TA in my bio class this year. Totally wants to do experiments on my bod, obviously. So when you called asking for the stuff, I said, hey, let the experimentation begin. Oh, gross. Help me, Father. They're all insane. Purify them or just take them away from my life. Either way is fine with me. Father, please help us. I can't do this on my own. It's good to see you. Good to see you, man. What is that? It's a map, Smarty. You don't have a GPS, Mr. Techie? Of course I do. It's just, the age machines and all, I just I feel like my generation depends on it way too much. I mean, the average teenager doesn't know how to navigate a single block, let alone know how to use a simple map. And the day will come when the sun decides to emit a large CME wiping out our power grids. How are we going to get around? Complete chaos. That's deep, bro. You've managed to impress and depress me at the same time. Oh, stop wishing me then. I just like my GPS because I like to listen to the sexy British chick. Turn left here. <laughs> Make a U-turn. Figures. All right. Head up to Woodshire Fields. Should take the 15 all the way north. Woodshire. That's where we went camping with Dad, right? Yeah. He's got a lot of land to conduct a successful launch. All right. Well, that's a long haul. I should, I should probably go in and say hi to Dad then, right? Before no, we go? He's, he's still asleep. I'm with Shannon. Are you still being mean to her? She's a good person, Sean. I don't understand why you're not being nice to her. Give her a chance, you know? I hate that he's trying to replace Mom. Whoa, that. whoa, 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 whoa. Sean. It's been three years, buddy. I know it didn't seem like a long time, but Dad's got to move on. And Shannon is helping him do that. 
Look at me. Nobody can replace mom. Nobody. Wherever she is, she'd want dad to be happy, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. <laughs> Besides, Shannon comes with a really cool little sister. <laughs> Stepsister. She stinks. Okay. She's a really cool and smelly little sister. Well, you don't have to live with her. And give us life everlasting. Amen. Was that woman? God damn it, woman. Fifty years ago, you used to be this hot little spunky Italian thing. Now you're ugly and slower than molasses. And, and what the heck was you needing to pray for a whole hour about anyway, huh? I was praying for your soul, dear. And that the good Lord would take it. Soon. The sooner the better, girlfriend. Now, I hope you didn't hide my pill bottle from me this time. And why would I do that? What? And why would I do that? Damn. I swear, between my bad hearing and you talking like you got a mouthful of oatmeal, no wonder we don't communicate. Loving the tunes out here, bro. What you reading, dork? Firefighter's Manual to Disaster Prevention. Which one be fireman now? Uncle Steve gave it to me. Thought I'd like it because of my interest in extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials? It's a fireman's book. What's it got to do with E.T.? Well, right now I'm reading chapter 16. It's talking about the potential of UFO invasion, right? And it says that firemen are our first line of defense against aliens. <laughs> what? No way. Yeah. You're messing with me. Dude, it even gets into how radiation is an alien's natural defense. It's really detailed. That's crazy. But I don't, why would a fire officer's book have something about alien invasion? This was written in 1992 by two veteran fire officers one of which witnessed Los Angeles Air Raid of 42. Los Angeles Air Raid? What is that? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? No, nothing. Oh, God. Sorry, spaceman. I can't believe you're my brother. Hey, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's 1942, three months after the US declared their part in World War II when the Los Angeles Air Defense Unit went to full effect for the first time ever. Army forts all across the coastline fired thousands of shells into the night sky. And then they just stopped. The event's still questioned to this day. That is insane. Yeah, right? Well, hey, maybe it was just, uh, you know, like a training exercise masked as an alien invasion, right? Scare the masses, mind control. Or could have been the aliens doing a little experiment, trying to test our military's defenses. Speaking of experiment, I think we're here. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. you woman, huh? A chihuahua? Oh, no. I... No, I... I... Wait. Call a vet. You gotta have one take your butt out to pasture. Oh, oh my. my. I swear, if Roberto's been feeding these damn cows churros again, I'll send his butt back to Mexico. Mm. It's all right, girl. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Just take a look at you. Oh, my God. I, I, I think she's pregnant. Tell me where he's going. Mm -hmm. You can't just bolt out of here first thing in the morning without giving me his exact location. That's enough for you. <laughs> Let me know when he's going to be home. You really want an exact location. Why don't you just put a GPS in his tush and then you'll know where he is 24 7. A GPS? Huh? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm the sheriff of this town. I can make that happen. Oh. Might go against the Constitution, but hey, he's my kid. I can enslave him all I want, right? That's right, because you're the sheriff. That's right. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I know he told us he's doing this science experiment with Michael. I don't remember him mentioning anything about a science experiment with Michael. Well, he told me. Well, that's just what I'm talking about. He tells you. He doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. Doesn't respect me. Doesn't respect the rules of the house. You know, I mean, the kid's got me on a pay no mind list. <laughs> it's gotta stop. I just think it's a little difficult for him, you know, with us living here together. It's gotta be hard. Why don't you just give him some time and a little bit of space? Space? Shannon, have you seen this kid's room? The kid lives in space, okay? Yeah. I mean, he sits in there 24-7, you know? He's playing on his little gadgets and his games. When he does emerge from his starship, mm -hmm. he comes out here for dinner, zones out on that tablet thing. Yeah. Turns into a zombie. I've asked him not to do that. Well, we have to ask him again. Just wish he'd get outside once in a while. Just play some sports. Emily, you know, do I mean, do him some good. Good little exercise. Right. Heck, at this point, I wouldn't mind if you got in a little trouble now and then. Yeah, he's never going to be like Michael. You know that, right? I'm not saying mm -hmm. that, okay? Well, I'm just saying the behavior has got to stop. I mean, this has been going on since... Hmm. You know, I just think the kids still miss their mom. You know, I think they're still grieving. So why don't you just show up and just show him some love? Hello? What? Oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll be out there in 15 minutes. Why, is she conscious? We'll have Steve and his guys get out to the farm ASAP. Oh, yeah, well, old as she is, she's going to need an ambulance. Yeah, Robert, yes. Yeah, the whole treatment. All right. Yep. Chief. Yeah. I got your lunch. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget Emily's softball games today. Oh, well, how could I forget that, <laughs> huh? You're going to choke up on that bed like I taught you. I'll be rooting for you. Okay, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I'm fine. I'm fine. Be careful out there. Are you kidding in this town? <laughs> Bye, babe. Okay, here we are. Oh, shoot. Okay, here we are at Base Camp 237, beginning phase one of Operation Moon Balloon. As you can see, this is my lovely assistant, Michael. He's my biological brother. Why and how I'm related to such an inferior species, my mind will never comprehend. You want me to drop this on your head? No, you may continue. Robert, 
Uh, is all that tape really necessary? Hey, Sheriff! Oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Steve. Every time, so good. Man, how many times have I told you you cannot do stuff like that on site? It's unprofessional. Yeah. Do I work for you? Oh, no, that's right. Barney Fife does. Tough break. Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> Wise ass. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> you are unbelievable. <laughs> and you. Robert, did you get a little tape happy this morning? Oh. What's the story there? I'm sorry if I went a little overboard. It's uh. not every day I get to set up an official crime scene. I gave him a coloring book to try to keep him occupied, but the tape was just too shiny. You know what? Ever since we were kids, it's always with the jokes. Are you ever going to grow up? You're right. Serious question, though. Does Carol have your balls in a jar beneath the sink, or is it like a Tupperware situation? You see? All right, guys, hey, enough of the shenanigans, you guys. It's too early in the morning for this, all right? Crawled up your butt. <sighs> Sorry, it's just Michael came, picked up Sean this morning. Didn't tell me where they're going. Don't know where they are. You want me to put it out on the radio? Have the fellas keep an eye out? No, no. <laughs> it's okay, Robert. So, uh, what's the story with Martha here? She and Ted get into it again, or? Honestly, man, none of this makes any sense. We did get some of the story from dispatch, though. What'd you hear? Well, Roberto, caretaker of the place, mm -hmm. says he hears Martha screaming bloody murder. Good. Takes off from the barn over there, comes over, finds her on the ground screaming, the tall man. The tall man took Ted into the field. And then she passes out. Right. And she ran, what, all the way from the truck? That's mm. got to be 80 yards or something? Uh, more like about 91. Mm, I'm going to say an even 88. <laughs> you didn't even play football. Yeah, Come on. OK, no, so it's a touchdown, right? Are we agreed on that? Football field. Yeah, something must have scared the bejesus out of her for her to run that far. She is not a runner. Yeah. No, she's real old. Thanks, Steve. OK. What about the dead cow? Animal attack? Coyote, maybe? I'm not so sure about that, but um, looks like the stomach just kind of exploded. Roberto would know if they had any coyote problems around here, wouldn't he? Maybe. Hey, Roberto, van a key, por favor. Que paso con la vaca? Tienes problemas con coyotes o chupacabra? Cucucan es real. Es como mi abuela nos contaba antes de dormir. Si no te vas a dormir, el cucucan te va a quitar. Nunca quise creerlo. El cucucan es real. Está aquí ahora. Translation? Basically, when he was a little kid, his grandma used to tell him stories about a creature or something called a cucucan, and it'd come get him if he didn't go to sleep. But now he's saying it's real and it's here. The cucucan, huh? And what is that exactly? Ah. Uh, War Serpent. Great. Uh, appreciate it, Chief. Adios. So he speaks English, huh? Apparently. Here we are at our command center, where we have our trusty computers, our hard drive, and <sighs> just started with an introduction of myself and the project. I'll just edit this in later. Hi, I'm Sean Neary, and I'm about to embark on an ambitious mission. I will be the youngest scientist. Not a scientist. I will be the youngest scientist to send a camera 20 miles into the upper atmosphere and capture amateur video of space. OK. Here we have our trusty command center, where we have our laptops and my mini satellite dish, which will hopefully receive and record via signal from our space shuttle, the Neary one She will transmit via live feed to the computers, which will then download onto a hard drive and. What the heck do you think you're doing? I'm trying to annoy you. We've succeeded. <laughs> I'm messing with you, bro. Look, your project's gonna be a success. I'm here to help you all I can, okay? Hey, man. Thanks for using your spring break to help me out with this. It means a lot, and I'm just glad you decided to come. Of course. I'm always here for you, bro. Besides, college has many breaks. The whole thing is pretty much one big vacation, actually. You'll see. Actually, college is necessary. This project is my application to Skywatch. Skywatch? 
Let's skywatch. It's a group of people at the University of Puerto Rico's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory. They study the statistics of comets and asteroids in order to investigate the dynamic evolution of the solar system. Okay, Einstein. Before you go shipping off into deep space, why don't you show me how all this works? Einstein was a physicist, not an astronomer. Yes. Yes, of course. All right, Robert, I want you to get back. Put on APB on this tall man, all right? Anybody over six feet, any stranger's gonna stick out in this town. Yes, sir. You don't think that's a little vague? Anybody over six feet? Hell, I could be a suspect. Yeah, why would that surprise anyone? <laughs> nice. I'll get on it right away. So Ted was taken into a field. Do we know where this field is? I would assume there's a trail. Yes. 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 And did we follow it, guys? Yes. Yes. Good answer. And what did we find? <laughs> what? What? All right, let's, let's show them the yeah. slime. Yeah. Slime? Robert, get back to the office. Get going on that APB, all right? Yes, sir, right away. Hey, let me know as soon as Martha wakes up. Yes, sir. I want to get a statement going. Let's get a composite as well. OK, but who do you want to use to do the composite? I've seen Polly's art. It ain't that good. You should try Jane. She's a pretty good artist. Emily's teacher? Ask her if she'll do us a favor, all right? OK, I'm on it. You know, Ted was indeed dragged through this whole cornfield. He'd have broken every bone in his body. Right? Whoever was dragging him would have been having to move at a pretty fast clip to clear this path. Yeah, but there's, there's no blood. That's not all. Hey, come on, look at this. I don't get it, man. How can somebody drag a guy through this and then just disappear like it's nothing? I think we're dealing with a real murder case? Well, Steve, slow down, man. You know, we don't even have a body yet. For all I know, Ted could be chasing one of his cows, trying to stop it from getting away, man. I don't know. Look, I'm not going to start jumping to conclusions. I don't want the whole town getting into a panic over nothing. This is way more than you and I can handle alone, man. We're gonna have to get a search party going. OK. You want me to call my guys? No. Keep them as backup. Let's get some of the local farmers involved to see if they'll be willing to help out. Ted's 89 years old, you know? I mean, he can't, he can't be that far. Or can he? Oh, would you give me a break, man? Mom always said you were closed-minded. Dad always said you were gullible. Good one. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't really say that, did he? <laughs> it's messed up. Be safe, dude. You too, brother. Ready, Sean? This is the Neary one. 
and we're going to send it into space with the help of a weather balloon. Here in the forward control thrust, we have a pen-sized camera which will record 24 frames per second and 1080p HD into the internal hard drive. Down here under the belly, we have a GPS tracking device which will transmit coordinates to my GPS tracker down here on Earth. Now, I estimate that the weather balloon should carry the Neary one 20 miles, or 105,600 feet, just scratching the upper atmosphere. As it reaches max altitude, the weather balloon will burst, and a parachute will deploy, slowing its descent to Earth. I should capture amazing footage, never before recorded by a civilian. Ever since the day John F. Kennedy announced his mission to the moon until today, NASA owned the skies. Today, I, Sean Neary, will go where no man Boy. has gone before. Okay, it's a beautiful day with low winds, and the FAA has given us clearance to launch. As you can see, the Neary One's been equipped with the necessary devices and is now being attached to the weather balloon. Okay, now we're going to begin filling the weather balloon with helium. No, you're doing it wrong. Hold, sir. Whoa, easy. What's going on here? Nothing to worry about, sir. We're just preparing for a routine training exercise. Routine training exercise? On whose authority? United States Army. On Corporal Carpio. And your local authorities have been notified by my superiors. Again, sir, this is just a routine... Routine training exercise, yeah. I, I get it, Corporal. I, what I don't get is, one, I'm the only authority in this town. I haven't been notified of anything. Two, this base has been abandoned for over a decade. Listen, as small as this town is, and I'm responsible for the people in it. If there's something going on, I need to know about it. Sir, we'll let you know if your assistance is required. I'll get back to the post. Why do I have a feeling I won't be getting that phone call? Okay, let's start the countdown. We're going for liftoff in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, times I have to tell you, stop with the sir, okay? You're my superior, John. I think it's only professional. Look, as your superior officer, I'm, uh, I'm ordering you, stop with the sir, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Now, have we got any calls at this office about the Army moving into the old base, conducting some sort of training exercise? No call from the Army, 
But we did get a lot of calls from the locals who sure noticed their presence in town today. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how can you miss them? They're rolling in like they own the place. I haven't seen anybody over in that old base, well, except for old Henry when he's cutting the grass. Yeah, he has a contract with the government to keep the place operational, I think. You want me to give him a call and see if he knows anything? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that wouldn't hurt. There is something else. Plate's not full enough today? <laughs> what is it? I stopped by the McTiernan farm on the way back in town. All two dozen of their cows were found dead with their stomachs burst open, just like Ted's place. What? Yep, and no blood. So now that's, it's Ted's farm and the McTiernan's, right? Uh-uh. We're actually having similar reports in from the entire county. What? Uh, not to ruin the wonderful God-given experience, but it's almost like... Like what? Like what, Robert? Don't keep me in suspense. Like when my wife gave birth to our kids. Uh, okay, thanks for that. No uh, blood, just this oozing slime and wet hair. Okay, yes, thank you for the image. I appreciate it. All right, get some deputies out to these farms. Start getting some statements going. I want to know what kind of issues they've been having with their livestock, when it all started happening. Will do. Do you think this could be some kind of pandemic? Highly doubt it. Lord help us if it is. I mean, we're not equipped to deal with anything like this. John, we just got a call from the hospital. Martha just woke up and she's speaking with nurses. Good, good. All right, Robert, have Steve call me over at the hospital. I want to get the search up ASAP. Sure thing, but don't you want me with you on the search? No, no, Steve and I got that covered. I want you to start on those statements, all right? And call Henry. I want to know what's going on over at that army base. Okay, right away. Oh, and don't forget Emily's softball game this afternoon. Well, assuming this thing didn't get sucked into a jet engine, we should probably pack up and start tracking it. Huh? Oh, no. We won't get any coordinates until it starts to descend. Probably won't even get a video signal. We need to connect to a satellite, and since they're so far out in outer space, we need a boost from another source, which is impossible. What about your sat dish? Short range. Not even close to powerful enough. Why is it even here? Scientists must have his toys. Huh. So you mean you're full of it? <laughs> you could say that. So how is Dad? He's okay, I guess. Works long hours, comes home late. I think he still really misses you around the house. I just don't feel at home. Well, I mean, Dad and I were always really close. Just like you and Mom were really close. Well, Dad just misses the way things used to be when we were all together as a family. I guess you're right. I just wish I was more like you. Him, you know? More like me. I wish I was more like you. You're a hell of a lot smarter than I am, Sean. I mean, look at what you're doing. A kid your age thinking about space exploration? That's... I mean, me, I just pissed high school away. Having fun, going to parties. Kind of like I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, but you always had the buddies. <laughs> and even girlfriends. Man, I'm known as Michael Neary's little nerd brother. I feel like a complete outcast sometimes. Sean, look at me. You are not an outcast, okay? People are just afraid of what they don't understand. You know, you're on a completely different level. And it won't take long for them to figure that out, I promise. Yeah, how would you know? Man, you were the popular one, and any brother would say that. You remember what mom used to say? Everybody has something about them that makes them special. The trick is you have to figure out what it is. Sean, you have figured it out. And you are the most special person I've ever met.
Hey, Martin. John, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. You taking care of yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, the kids all right? Kids are good, yeah. They're, we're all good, you know? It's uh, still a bit of an adjustment period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good to hear. Well, I assume you're here to see Martha. Yeah, yeah, I heard she's awake. I'm gonna go ask her a few questions, all right? Good seeing you. Hey, John, do you mind if we speak just a minute more? Of course. Yeah, what is it? Well, we ran some blood tests on Martha and uh, found... Uh, what? Well, <laughs> she has acute radiation syndrome. How is that possible? I don't know. But see, she has high blood pressure. So every month we do blood panels on her. So I went back to the chart three weeks ago and there was nothing. There were no abnormalities. Her blood cell count was normal. But now, it's dropping like her IV is hooked up to a nuclear reactor. It's weird. I mean, besides you know, exhaustion, she seemed to want peace. Well, I tell you what I find even more troubling. She doesn't present the normal symptoms of nausea or vomiting or abnormal pain. But with numbers like these, my God, she may not last the night. Jane, thank you for coming on such short notice. I really appreciate no it. No problem at all. You know me. Plus, it takes me out of the house and away from grading papers. Good. How's she doing? Oh, she's been in and out of it all day. Uh, um, they have her pretty heavily sedated. Apparently, when she came to, she thought she was still on the farm, and she was screaming at the top of her lungs about the tall man. Tall man? I've heard this before. I did have her describe him to me, and I, I do have a sketch for Great. you. Great. What is this, Jane? John, that's exactly what she described to me. Martha. Martha, can you hear me? Martha? 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 Martha, I need you to tell me what happened this morning, okay? I need you to tell me what, what happened to Ted. It's my fault. What's your fault, Martha? I... I... I prayed to God. And they made it happen. They... They took my poor husband. Who's they, Martha? Who took Ted? Devils. There are devils everywhere, John. We were not pure in our souls. We were not kind to each other. We, we, that's why they've come. They've come to take all of us. Yes, and it's, it is my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, I'm so sorry. They've come to take us all. So where'd you come up with the idea for this anyways, huh? It was at Emily's birthday party. She had all her friends over. We were all having such a great time. And there she was. You should have pushed that kid out of the way and talked to her. Girl? Yeah. No. I had the courage to. I would have totally missed the sign. The sign? What sign? The balloon. Man, had I spent my time talking to that girl, it would have meant the balloon going up without me seeing it. It was all part of her plan. Well, I guess that's one way to look at it. 
Well, I hope we're done by five. I mean, I gotta kick it with Bill and Tim tonight. Got big plans. <laughs> we're not gonna be back by five. What are you talking about, dude? Sean, they're throwing me a welcome home party. I mean, I gotta be there. <laughs> this thing's going 20 miles into the upper atmosphere. Once it pops, depending on the wind direction, it could land anywhere within a 30, 60 mile radius. There's no telling where this thing could land. And it's imperative we find it or else this is all for nothing. Well, that's just great, bro. I mean, I thought this was only gonna last a couple of hours. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Man, okay, granted, I told Shannon I'd be home by dinner, but that's not till 8.30. Well, I don't know, Sean. I mean, I thought we were gonna come out here and like, fly this thing on a kite or something, and I didn't think we were gonna be exploring deep frickin' space. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Is that dude watching us? Sure is watching us. Yeah, who's totally watching us? Maybe it's just a park ranger checking on what we're doing. I don't know. It doesn't look like any park ranger I've ever seen. All right, hey, hold on one sec. Hey, you know, we gave it a shot. Jane, really want to thank you for coming in. Yeah, of course, anytime. Oh, and Jane, I think we should probably keep this between you and me for now. Sure, John, I understand. All right, Steve, talk to me. I got all the troops gathered up here at the fruit tree orchard. We're uh, right where the tracks go off into oblivion, man. We're ready to rock when you get here. That's great, that's great. Uh, I'm here with Martha right now, but looks like we're hitting a dead end with her. All right, well, Stan, Rick, and Billy showed up fully loaded, man. I think th think things are about to get weird. Hell, even Jurassic Bob showed up. You need to get down here, man. Hey, look, hey, you keep those guys in line and keep them calm until I get there, all right? All right, brother, I'll see you soon. Oh. Neary Residence, this is Emily, may I help you? Hi, Emily, it's John. Oh, hi, John. Are you gonna go to my game? Um, me and Mom were just getting ready. Oh, sweetheart, I, I can't make it to your game today. I'm stuck at work. Look, I'll totally make it up to you, though, all right? Tomorrow we'll go out in the yard, we'll play some catch. And then I'll take you for some ice cream afterwards, huh? How about that? Okay. I'm totally up for a little C and C. Catch and cream, you got it, we're on. Is your mom around? Do you want me to go get her? I just tell her that I'll call her later, all right? Okay. See ya. Bye, hon. Close to powerful enough. It sh shouldn't start streaming until it's descent. 
Are we looking at outer space? Yeah, not the upper atmosphere, but we're really close. Man, we did it! We actually did it! Thank you so much! I'm gonna be famous! Hey, we will be famous. Man, look at that! That's our planet! Can't you believe how small we are in the universe? Why is it bouncing around like that? Well, with the high altitude, the atmosphere... What? Oh. It stopped. It's just... It's crazy. What the hell is that, Sean? Sean! Sean? Sean, what the hell was that? Sean! Shit! What are you doing? Ther thermal. Thermal cloak. What? Thermal invisibility cloak. Sean, what the hell are you talking about? We found it. I'm applying a thermal filter to the footage. Why? Heat sensory. What are you talking about, Sean? Sean. <laughs> Aliens. I mean, what the hell? I just like, I mean, do you know how this changes everything, Sean? Do you know how this, how, what this means? I mean, I don't know what I mean. I, this is just a lot for me to handle. It's Michael. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. Okay. It's okay. Just let me handle it. It's okay. We just need to get there. No, no. Wouldn't the government, yeah. wouldn't the government know about this? They have no. to know about this. Oh, I mean, what if they invade no. us? Michael, they've known for a very long time. Okay, Mr. Conspiracy Theory. It's a bit late to call me that, don't you think? Jeez. We gotta call somebody. We gotta call the cops or call something. Call the cops? I... Are you insane? Michael, we can't call the cops. Okay, just calm down. Calm down? Do you understand what you're saying? If we call the cops, they'll definitely take the footage away. They might even put us away. No one can know what we have. I should at least call Dad. Dad is the authorities. What don't you understand? Man, we could even get in trouble for the... What? <coughs> we could even get in trouble for what, Sean? What? Remember when I said the FAA gave us clearance to launch? Yes, and? They didn't. They sent me a letter of denial early this week. Oh, that's brilliant, Sean. Which makes total sense now. They didn't want anyone knowing about the aliens. Come on, Sean, they couldn't possibly couldn't have known about possibly that. possibly what? What's not remotely possible after what we've just seen? Hmm? Oh, God. Let's go. Get on out there, Chandra. Danae, what's your name? It doesn't matter. Hit a home run. Let's go. Go, Pirates. Let's go. All right, come on. Let's get in there and make a home run.
doing? I'm good. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, who's next? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in there. Let's go, pirates! Come on, oh, win that game! Go, go, go! Go, oh, So things are good between you and John, I assume, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you for your concern. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, I'm just, I'm so glad that he's doing so well after everything. I mean, oh, I mean, Lori, she was just a really good friend of ours, and she's been lucky. He's got you here to get him through it. Right. Well, thank you for your concern, Diane. We really appreciate that. Can I hear more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> go Pirates! Let's go! Some of the other mothers and I, we were talking and, um, <clears throat> you know, about what happened uh, this morning. Uh, poor, poor Ted and Martha's. Do, do you know how Martha's holding up? No. I mean, Johnny doesn't bring anything home. He just doesn't want to upset me, you know? Right, right. So this is probably one of those local disputes or something. Go! That's right! Run that base! Go! Woo! Shane, you don't know what happened? You really don't know what happened? Is it their infamous fight? What? What could it be? No. Um, supposedly, someone, this group of, of men kidnapped. Ted, they were tall, and, and Martha tried to fight them off, but they left her for dead on the side of the road. Really? No. It's what I heard. <sighs> Let's go! I Let's go, Emily! Oh, here's Emily. She looks so cute, my little Emily! Yeah! Emily! Emily! Listen. I need you to keep your eye on the ball, okay? Follow it all the way in. Remember what we talked about? You're gonna, it's gonna. Okay, you got this. Great. Okay, I'll be just. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, here we go. Emily! Yeah. Call John again. Do you know how? Do I? I'm not very official. We're gonna get it figured out. We're gonna get it figured out. Man. Who's gonna? Guys, it's a weird situation. I don't know how else to put it. Come on, Shannon, pick up. I don't know why I can't get through. I'll try to call one more time. I like it. For Christ's sakes. John is here now. He's going to explain the plan to everybody, okay? Just settle down. I see you got this. All right. All right, hey, let's all settle down. Let's quiet down. He just says settle down, all right? Everybody! Everybody! Thank you, Bob. Yeah, whatever. All right, look, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. I know it's hot out here, but I know I can speak for everybody when we say we're all thinking about Martha. 
Hoping for a speedy recovery, all right? Yeah, we can also say that we come bearing great gifts for the men who kidnapped my Uncle Ted. Yeah! You know, this is not a manhunt. It's a search and rescue, guys. There's been no signs of any suspicious activity. How can you say that, Sheriff? We've all seen the government moving in here with their military vehicles, and Ted going missing just adds fuel to the, fuel to the fire. Yeah. Ever since they moved in, there's been nothing but unexplained weird things going on. I mean, look at our livestock. Our cows are dropping dead like flies, right and left. Yeah, they have their stomachs ripped open like a, some kind of voodoo experiment gone wrong. Now, some sheriff's moved my cows. They won't even step out in the pasture to graze. I have to admit, Sheriff, it can't all be coincidence, all this weird stuff happening when they move into town. Yeah, first they take our livestock, then, then they're going to come take our lands. Next thing you know, they're going to want our guns, and we will fight. It's about to go sideways, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, look, nobody's going to take your livestock. Nobody's going to take your land. But how do you know, Sheriff? Do you have any answers at all to what's been going on around here? No, all right? At this point in time, I don't have all the facts, guys. But I do know that Ted's out there, yeah. and he's probably hurt and needs our help. So the longer we stay here fighting amongst ourselves, the longer he's out there needing us, OK? You're right, Sheriff. We're with you. Right, everyone? Yeah. Yeah, old Ted was my chief in the Navy. As brave as they come. And we never leave one of ours behind, so we're with you, Sheriff. Oh, please, let me know what's happening here. Hold on, come on. Since this isn't a manhunt, I'm asking you all, Hand over your weapons. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, no I way. Any, it's a precaution. I don't want anybody getting hurt See, out there. See, it's starting now. Yeah. This is martial law. Rick, yeah. hey, I don't want any trouble from you today, all right? We're all heading out in these fields together, and the last thing we need is somebody to get shot on accident. Steve here is going to collect your guns. Thanks. Hey, everyone's going to get their guns yes. back at the end of the day. It's a promise, all right? my cold, dead hands. Seriously? Rick? <clears throat> now, I want us all heading out into these fields behind me. I want to split up into groups of two. We can cover more ground that way, all right? Billy. Yes, Sheriff? Hey, I want you to hightail it out front, all right? Take the lead. Steve and I will be in the back, all right? And hey, you whistle out if you hear anything, understood? I'd be honored to, sir. Will do. Okay. You can grab the revolver. Thought you weren't expecting any trouble. Close encounters, man. It's actually a good idea. Look, before we get started, I wanted to ask. Martha, you didn't get anything from her? I ran into Dr. Martin. He said she's suffering from radiation poisoning, high doses. She's not going to make it through the night. Radiation? Yeah. We get this. Jane, her sketch. Yeah, I mean, it looked like, uh... Like what? A demon. The tall man? Hey, look, it could have been the medication. She was doped up pretty good. Why? Have you heard from the boys? No, why? I didn't want to bring it up. Well, geez, sure you got not. my attention now. What is it? There's this book I gave Sean. It's sort of an old fireman's manual on how to deal with emergency situations. There's a chapter in there that deals with... Aliens and how to combat an attack if they ever invaded. <laughs> You're yanking my chain, right? No, Come man, on, Steve. listen, stick with me. None of us you... took it seriously in rookie training, okay? We pass it off as some BS from the 50s, but think about it. Ted missing, Martha's sick, the cows, the military coming into town. You don't think something really weird is Tell going me, on? You believe that Ted was what, uh, abducted? Aliens? Spaceships overhead? I mean, what are you talking? Stupid, man. You're right. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Let's go. You were something else, man.
further is it, Sean? Not too far now. Eventually you'll have to pull over to Jin Twins Trail. It looks like it finally landed five miles from us in the Pute Indian Park Range. Jin Twins? That's a weird name. Actually highly appropriate. Pute Indians are known for creating stories of Jin Twins or flying canoes. Golden strangers coming down from the skies. Flying canoes, yeah. No. Let's just hope they have good intentions. At least we know they exist. Man, this is like finding the missing link. Yeah, except for Sasquatch won't zap you with his ray gun, put your head in a jar for examination. Here it is! Pull over here by this trail. Oh, this is gonna be great. Ready for this, Sean? Yeah. Let's do it. Are you sure you're reading that thing right, bro? Yeah, yeah, we're going the right direction. Shouldn't be too far now. Half a mile. You think uh, anybody else knows about him? Of course, man. Alien sightings have been reported for centuries, starting with the Mayans. You go to their temples in Mexico and you'll see the evidence carved all across their walls. Too bad that the government takes away all the evidence. They've been putting down conspiracy theories for years. And most people think it's a joke simply because it's how the government wants it to be perceived. You're something else, Sean, you know that? Yeah, Dad says that to me a lot. Why do you think they're here? Why well, study us? They traveled all this way just to probe our butts. Yeah, I doubt that, Sean. Travel for them isn't like travel for us. They travel by interdimensional routes, interstellar travel. They travel from universe to universe through wormholes. Well, until now, anyway. What got you into all this stuff? Aliens, conspiracy theories. I've never met anybody so passionate about this stuff. I think I've always been fascinated by the truth. And I think my mom taught me that there's more to life than what we see every day. gets out, everything's gonna change. Society, religion. No, I don't think so. I think history has shown us that in times of great peril, but it's like... Oh, shit! What, what's up? Oh, my God. Michael, there's nothing there. Dude, there's nothing there. It's probably a raccoon or something. Jeez, so much for bonding. She's got startled as all, Sean. Oh, that's ammunition for later, my friend. Oh, you want ammunition? How about I leave you in the woods with your alien oh, friends? Oh, no, dude, come on. Oh, how about that? Come on. So oh, tough. So come tough on, guy. man. Last one up the hill. Get their butt pro.
mutilation. Cow mutilation. You think that uh, they had something to do with it? What else would? I don't know. Mother face. Don't be serious. We did hear a theory about cows being used as incubators. Maybe most of these are female. Baby aliens. Fantastic. We need to document this for posterity. Jesus. So many of them. Never even a hamburger again. I think I'd be climbing trees today. Ah! Ah! Hop to it, old man. God, I spoil you. Come on, we need to get to that shuttle. Hey, gotta protect the bot. You need to keep your panties on. Go! You about to do it yourself. <laughs> Come on, Michael, you're almost there. How's it look? Perfect condition. We should check the footage when we get back to the... I want to see that creepy freaking alien ship again. Ugh. Watch the sky. What's gonna happen, Mom? <laughs> You'll see. Watch. Here they are. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing. to talk to you about something, okay? What's wrong? I'm, um... Yeah, what is it? I just want you to know that I love you with all my life. And no matter what happens, I will always be with you. I know, Mom. I love you, too. I know. Always. Keep watching this. <laughs> it's 
ihr. Oh my gosh, a shuttle! They left it. Did they probe me? I don't feel any different. Michael, look, they left the shuttle. They didn't take it. Sean. Sean, we gotta get that to the authorities. We gotta get that to Dad. I can't believe it just happened. They showed me something. Is it, buddy? I saw. I saw. What? Mom. I saw her again, Michael. I don't understand how. This whole experiment, I was. I was just trying to contact Mom and tell her how much I love and miss her. Oh, Sean. Mom's not in a place that's... I know, that's... I know. I just thought this would bring me closer to her somehow. God, it was so real. I can actually smile and touch her again. And that night... Night she knew she was sick. That's why she brought me to the field. She wanted to tell me, but she couldn't. I miss you too, buddy. They let us have that for a reason, Sean. Oh, gotta get home. Gotta get this to Dad. 
right away. Okay, well, for safety reasons, I don't think we should tell anybody about No, this. Sean, we have to get this to the public. What'd they show you? Nothing good. I think we overstayed a welcome. for the night. I mean, we've been searching for hours and Ted's trail went cold miles ago. We're all about spent. It's too dark out here, boss. Says our family's no good if we all get lost out here. Yeah, we're, we're way off the reservation. I, I don't even know whose land we're on. I think it's the government's now. Oh, yeah. In this Henry's old place. This is Henry's land? It was until he sold it to Uncle Sam some years ago. I used to hear some really weird sounds coming from this place when we were kids. We used to play up in those hills right over there. Yeah, my dad used to tell us ghost stories, keep us up at night. He used to tell us there was a Indian burial ground around here, though we never did find it. Are you kidding me? Indian burial ground? Can we not hang out right here? Jesus. Ex exactly when did Henry sell this land? Hey! Everybody, I found something! What is it, Billy? I was taking a leak under this tree here when I looked up. How the hell to get way up there? What in the name of sweet baby Jesus? I want everyone to get home as soon as possible. Got it? Split up into groups of two, just like before. I don't want anyone getting lost out here, all right? Got it, Sheriff. Call your guys out. Cut them down from there. What in the hell are we dealing with, Steve? cows, all right? Using them. You're right. They're using them to make some kind of army. An army? What are they going to do, attack? Right. They let us have that shuttle for a reason, Sean. They're on our side, but not everyone's going to make it. We have to get to dad. Come on, Sean. Have you not filmed enough already? No. We need to document everything. Society needs to know what happened. Okay, I'm grabbing the hard drive from the show. Alright, now plugging it into the computer. Let's hope for the best. Come on, come on. Okay, transferring the footage. Here it is! We've got the entire flight and footage of the UFO. Wait a minute. There's some sort of foreign language or algorithm. I can't make it out. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is that? Stop. We need to figure out what this means. Time? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. It, Why didn't my, you answer your phone? Because it died. Well, I, the boys are not here, and I don't know where they are. Wait, wait hold they on. They didn't boys answer the phone. Yet? They were supposed to be here for dinner. They're not they're back not yet? Here. No, no, they're not here. That's what I'm trying uh. to tell you. And there was this really awful cloud out this softball field. What? And it had this awful... All right, all right, like Conan, hold on. Just one second, all right? First thing I want you to do, I want you to call Robert at the office. Tell him to put out the word on the boys, okay? I'm sure they're fine. Michael probably just stopped off for a bite to eat. But just call him okay. and make sure he puts out the word, okay? All right. And hey, look, we're going to find him, all right? Is Emily asleep? Shuttle into space this weekend is scheduled. Just wish 
Just die on you? There's plenty of gas, it's gonna run out. Maybe it's a battery. Should we go out and check? It? Who's that? Michael, what's going on? Michael, what are we gonna do? Still, son. Still, speak. Michael, we can't just stay here. Shh. All right. This is what we're gonna do. On the count of three, I'm gonna open the door and we're gonna run. We're gonna run as fast as we can. You understand? So? Looks like it. Should we contact the police? Someone might have lost this. Well, we should watch it first. Hit the stop button. Okay. 